Now we've told you before about Wilcox County High School in Georgia. They have this amazing situation where they have segregated proms. They have a white prom only. Now that sounds like, come on, that must have happened in 1969 or, or maybe even earlier than that, 1949. No, it's happening today. In fact, a biracial student tried to show up last year and was kicked out, escorted away by the police and the police enforces. Now, it's not technically run by the st uh, students, it's run by a parent organization, but the cops enforce it. Now, four students came together and said, hey, we should do an integrated prom. It's 2013. Can we step out of the time machine for a second and get real here? Well, uh, it turns out a lot of people are resisting this, including the governor of Georgia. I'll get to him in a second, but first, to give you a sense of the school, a Columbia University journalist went there and reported back, quote, white students sit in the back during class white, uh, while black kids sit in the front. Well, that's an interesting change of pace. At least they've switched positions. Black kids have lunch outside while the white kids have theirs in the yard. White students, particularly girls who date black students, risk being ostracized and bullied. Now look, I know white students and black students sometimes sit apart in a lot of different schools. But this seems to be something that is enforced throughout all these decades. And we know if you're black or even biracial, you try to show up to that prom, they kick you out. So there's no question about it. That's the case here. Now what's amazing is the people fighting back against it. Now, small credit, by the way, because it should be fairly obvious, to some who are trying to fix the situation. And there are seven uh, people, seven Georgia state representatives, four of them Democrats and three of them Republicans, who are saying, of course we should fix this. But, among, um, but what, uh, the person who is not among them is Governor Nathan Deal of Georgia. He's the man you see pictured here. When they asked him about this, he said the groups trying to integrate the races in that high school are, quote, a leftist front group for the state Democratic Party. Okay, you know what, Nathan? Fine, you win. Democrats are for integration, Republicans are for segregation in the year 2013. Again, to be fair, not all Republicans, even in Georgia, are. Some of those state reps are against this. Apparently, they have some sense that Nathan Deal doesn't. But look at this time warp. They're stuck in that time. This guy still thinks like, ah, a bunch of leftist northern agitators coming in here trying to integrate us. The racist. Can you imagine? In the same prom. He's not done yet. He says, quote, we're not going to lend a hand to their silly publicity stunt. Their silly publicity stunt trying to integrate the races in Georgia. How dare they? Every time we do this story, we're down, down, and twice. First the original story, and now the update with Nathan Deal. I can't believe it's the year 2013, and these guys still think this way. And that's probably because I'm way too naive. I didn't grow up in a situation like that. So when I see this, a governor of a United States state, this day and age, saying, ah, you and your publicity stunts, with your leftist stunts trying to integrate the races, unacceptable. I'm shocked by it. I hope the voters in Georgia are shocked by it and they never make the mistake of re-electing Nathan Deal again.